Welcome back. The Cougars had several rookies in the lineup this past season. A couple of them even lived under the same roof. Raymond Graywall's family billeted rookie netminder Brett Zeroni this past year. Graywall got into 63 games with the Cats, while Zeroni started 31. Uh, definitely not what I expected. You know, it was uh, a lot of ups and downs, uh, some, some higher and some lower than I thought it would be. But, uh, you know, definitely for my first season, it was a good experience, and uh, I really enjoyed all of it. For you, Raymond, it uh, started slow. Uh, scratch for the first couple, but then after the while, when you had a chance to get in the lineup, you pretty much didn't take the night off. Yeah, uh, the start of the season was a little tough. You know, getting scratched is uh, something new to everybody when they come to junior hockey. But um, once I got in the lineup and uh, found my place, it was good and had a lot of fun playing. Well, obviously, didn't want to end the way you guys wanted to, but you guys are big parts of the future. So, Brett, are you looking forward to next season? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, it's going to be a long and hard summer, but uh, definitely looking forward to it. And I think we got a lot of potential. Here come the Giants, two on one. Trevor Cheek walking in, centered. Oh, what a save! Brett Zeroni, right to left, making a huge save off Foster. At Christmas time, you were the Canadian Hockey League goaltender of the week. You have some some draft interest. Oh yeah, for sure. I think for any player, you know, getting drafted is a big goal for them. And you know, if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, either way, I still have to work hard, and it doesn't change uh, change the way I have to battle. You, Raymond, you go into your draft year now, so big summer for you. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a pretty big summer. Got to add some weight on, as the coach has been uh, telling me lately. And yeah, it's going to be long and hard, just like the other few, and it should be good. And you guys come in as 18 year olds next year. So, Raymond, first of all, you tell us how big of a year is it next year? Uh, it's going to be a huge year. You know, we, uh, we went from kind of being a younger team to now being an older team with a lot of uh, 18 year olds. And we're going to have a lot more expectations next season compared to this season. And uh, it should be a good one with a new coach having training camp and things like that to kind of replace the systems and it should be good. Back to back years missing the playoffs, so obviously that's got to be one of the goals from next year and maybe more. Well, yeah, for sure. I think when you miss the playoffs, it's a pretty bad feeling. And uh, no, definitely, you know, this team uh, hasn't made the playoffs in a few years. So I think a uh, huge goal for us next year is, you know, make, not just making the playoffs, but uh, actually making a name for ourselves and uh, doing things. Where will you put your expectations besides that? Well, you know, definitely uh, there's all the individual goals that, uh, that I have for myself. But, you know, for our team goals, you know, like I said, playoffs and, you know, being a contender every game, you know, not being that team that teams come in and, you know, think point night. Uh, we definitely want to be the team that teams come in and think, oh, no, it's going to be another tough game. For you two, final question, being uh, roommates and, and all that, it was kind of like a third brother for, for the Grey Walls, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, as my second billet and... You know, we were kind of used to it the second time around, but yeah, it definitely was like a third brother. You know, we had some uh, discussions about sports and other things like that. You know, him being from Edmonton, being an Oilers fan, it was a little bit different with two Canucks fans living in the house. But no, it was really fun, you know. Uh, I'm looking forward to next season when we get to room together again. Did you finally get used to the cooking by the end of the year? Uh, it's still still, uh, it's still something that I think uh, it's going to take uh, maybe a year or two to adjust, but uh, I'll try my best next year to get used to it. Mark Hollick took over as head coach of the Cougars in late January from Dean Clark, who was fired. When Hollick came on board, the Cougars were already in a deep hole and looking up to make the playoffs. But Hollick is glad he came when he did. When, when I took over the team, I, I really thought we had a good shot at uh, attaining that playoff spot, and we obviously fell short. But uh, I thought some of the strides we made, um, you know, the, the real purpose, I think, was to, to try and instill some sort of building blocks. and and structure into next season and uh, I think we achieved that in in, uh, in some ways in our game. I think our effort uh, was was real good for the most part. Did the team start to turn into what you expect from your hockey club or Mark Hollick type park? Well I think there's some improvement in some players yeah I think that uh, you know that we're still I think we're still a ways away from from where we want to be as a, as a as a team as a franchise and um, you know but I'm, I'm encouraged by some of the uh, progress that some of these guys made. I mean, I think Berkey's two-way game improved a ton. You know, Pachiro, you know, he's almost a point-of-game guy now uh, under, un, under, I think, the last 25 or 24 games that he played. Uh, Jacobs, I think his his game improved immensely as, uh, in the, in the uh, defensive side of the game. Playoffs, obviously, no doubt, uh, one of the goals for sure next season. What else would you like to see? Well, I, I just want to see our team improve constantly, and I mean, you, you certainly get judged on, on wins and losses, but I want to make sure that uh, we see improvement uh, steadily. I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to happen overnight. I don't think there are any quick fixes in, in the league, and, and 
you know, Dallas and Clip and, and I are on the same page as to, to how we want to accomplish this. And it's my job to, to coach the players given. And, uh, you know, that's that's where it is. And um, But I want to make sure that, that they're, they're given every opportunity to improve and that there's no uh, their their worry is just hockey, and we don't want them worried about anything else. We don't want them concerned about anything else. Just come to the rink and play, and and all the tools and, and will be provided that that will hopefully make us a better hockey club. And, and we want to just make sure that we get better continually through uh, through the season. There's going to be ups and downs. There always is, but uh, you know we want to make sure that we see some sort sort of improvement uh, by our hockey club. That wraps up another edition of Cougar View. By the way, the scouting staff still has some work to do. They'll have the fourth overall pick in the import draft, and they also lost the Bantam draft lottery this past week and will now be bumped down one spot and will pick third overall. By the way, we want to thank you, the fans, for watching all season long. Personal thank you to my camera guy, Kevin Greenfield, and everyone who's done a great job of putting Cougar View together. Also, a special thank you to the staff here at CN Center for allowing us to shoot on location. By the way, if you want to look back at past Cougar View episodes, you can go to ckpg.com and click on the Cougar View link. Thanks for watching. Have a great off season. We'll see you next year.